Hey everyone, enjoy the show. How are you doing today? So I grew up in the 60s and 70s, and one of the sports that my brother and I used to enjoy was drag racing. We all had drag racing cars, we loved them, they were a lot of fun. It's too bad that young kids today really don't get into the old hot rods, but nevertheless, so I thought, I used to race at Fontana, which they called Drag City, and when I was out there, I had always admired fuel-injected cars. I couldn't afford that type of stuff, plus you really know to know how to work on them because that's touchy business. So we ran carbureted cars, but I always admired these. So I thought, now, wouldn't it be nice <clears throat> if I was able to build me a display motor, which was a 1960s style, Hillborn fuel injected dragster or pro street motor. So I thought, well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build one and I'm gonna make it into my office desk. So what you see here is what I did for myself. So this is a uh, 1960s style Hillborn fuel injected dragster motor. I bought all the Hillborn parts, right? And then I bought a block from Summit Racing which is a mock-up block, which is all completely studded, and it's made of a very hard plastic, so that you could, if you're building a car, you can use this uh, to do your motor bay with, and you can move it around. So why get an iron block? I don't need none of that. There's nothing inside of these, but they are got the correct bolt patterns, as well as I put as many gaskets as I possibly could. I wanted this to look like it was a motor sitting there with a dragster with no motor and some guys built it, they were very proud of it and they were ready to drop it into a dragster. So I wanted one for myself, so I built this one for me and as you see, I went with some uh, copper stacks. Uh, I really like, I did everything in finned, uh, manifold, timing chain cover, etc. Just an absolute, this is, people come in here and when they see it, you know, it gets your heart racing. You just want to fire this thing up. So I thought I liked mine so much, I thought I'd build a secondary one to offer to you folks. This is my second one which I built. I went with the exact same theme. This is basically 1960s Hillborn fuel injection, small block Chevrolet. I put the finned early valve covers on them, breathers with, as well as a Hillborn fuel pump. And this one has a Moon timing chain cover which accepted the Hillborn fuel injected fuel pump. Small cap distributor. Uh, I put the Zumi headers on it. It has a chrome oil pan. I uh, mounted it up in a nice uh, storage small black, small block Chevrolet stand. Uh, then I built a nice dolly. I carpeted it. This will roll around. This is a super, super neat motor. Uh, once again, it don't run, but boy, is it cool. It looks like it'll go 180 miles an hour. Uh, once again, I've always enjoyed these Hillborn fuel injected motors, so I thought I'd share some with you because I love mine and people love my desk because it's a one of a kind. You can do as you please with it. If you'd like us to do something with it, you can give us a call and we could probably do something, but this is ready to go. We'll put it on a pallet, get it out to you next day if you typically get it during the week. Anyway, thanks for watching our videos and enjoy this Hillborn fuel injected motor. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell antiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from nine to five or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.